Okay, we're gonna do something called three bowl designs. And what that means is this. You're gonna be coming up with an idea here where you're gonna create three bowls that go together as a group. Now, I'll show you a different example. So look at some of these. Now, these look like they were made out of potter's wheel. Potter's wheel is that thing that spins. We're not gonna do that. But the reason I put this up here, you could make the three bowls fit into each other. So it's like you could put them in a drawer or put them in a cupboard and they fit into each other. And what makes these creative is the way their glaze is applied to them. They all have glaze put on there in a very unique way, okay? Uh, the bowls could have any regular shape. I love these because they look, to me, they look sort of organic, like they look like a tulip or a flower of some sort. Uh, I love that edge that's very thin and sort of flowing. And then you can see how they decorate it by letting glaze drip down the sides and create this sort of veiny effect, okay? Um, here's three bowls that they did a totally, a completely different look. So what they did is they smoothed the inside, they put a clear uh, glossy glaze on the inside, but then the outside, they textured it. And how would you texture it? A lot of ways. You could take a rough rock and push it in the outside and then apply uh, matte glaze. Matte glaze is a glaze that's not shiny. I love this one because it really looks like a, a rock that's been cracked open and it's shiny and red on the inside, okay? Look at this one, the same thing. It's smooth on the inside, rough on the outside, okay? Uh, it could be representational. Obviously, these look like watermelons. So you might say, I like that idea. I'd like to make bowls that look like watermelons. So on the outside, I'll put greens on the outside and the inside I'll decorate with reds and little seeds and stuff like that. So your bowls can have a theme. They can look like something, okay? Here's some bowls that were just colorfully decorated. Uh, they, they are decorated in different colors, but yet they do go together. They have little spouts on them. They look like a unit. So three, you have to make three. You could make more than three, okay? You could make four if you wanted to. If you're like, hey, I really like this. I'd like to make a whole set of these. Go right ahead, okay? Uh, here's, um, think about the function. What are the bowls gonna be used for? So you might say, hey, this would be great for like salsa. You know, I know we got little bowls like that at our house that we use for dips and salsa and stuff like that. It might be kind of a, a cool use. This one shows it with, uh, looks like seeds in there and berries and stuff like that. So. You can think about what's the purpose, what would I like to use these for, if it has a purpose. Uh, I'm not sure what these are, but they all have little tiny handles and they kind of go together as a stack. These are glazed rather colorfully. Okay, here's ones that look like flowers with little drawings in the bottom of the bowls. And the same thing, only another color. Uh, here's very elaborate bowls. So you could do a very elaborate design by carving in the surface of your bowl or you could take objects and push them in. Just like, for example, the end of a pen, a pen, you can make little circles rather quickly on a bowl and create some pretty cool patterns, and then you can glaze it later, okay? Uh, I love these, isn't that cool? It's just that really smooth surface, I mean, that smooth, flowing, uh, loopy sort of rim. Uh, these look like they have some kind of thing imprinted. I just wanna show you some different designs. Here's another one. Uh, isn't this clever? I love this one. So it's got little rings of clay, almost like laces made out of clay with a little slot on the side. And here's another one. I would say like this is one design. Here's another design that would go with it. Okay. Um, I saw this bowl and then I, I, I looked, I, I, but I found a bunch of them like this and I go, why is that, that shape in there? Well, I found out these bowls are used for people that like to do uh, knitting. So what they do is they put a, a spool of yarn in here and then they pull the yarn through that little crease there and that way the, the, they could just keep on rolling the yarn and the ball kind of tumbles around inside there. So people that knit do that. So if you know somebody's a knitter, maybe you want to make a bowl like this for them. Um, here's a, you can see that same thing here. Um, you can do something like this. Here's a bowl that's an elephant. So feet have been added and a head's been added and ears have been added. Now keep in mind, clay when it's really thin, it breaks really easy. So you could, you could do an elephant because it's got stocky short legs. You could do an elephant's trunk, but notice that trunk is actually connected to the body. If you did that trunk and it wasn't connected, I would say 99% chance the trunk's gonna break off. Okay, it's kinda like a snowman. You can't make a snowman with arms, right? That's why people use sticks, because if you use snow arms, the arms would fall off. But you could make the arms connected to the body. You could do that. So that's what they did with the trunk here, and it looks like they did that with the tusks as well. Here's another uh, one based on an elephant, but a little more abstract. This one looks a little bit more like a, you'd see an elephant. 
This one's kind of elephant-ish. Uh, here's some other bowls. Uh, you could make a holder for your bowls. So you could make a base for your bowls that they fit into. You could connect your bowls if you want to. So here's a, a one that's got two bowls that are connected. You could do that same thing. So suppose you had a plan, like you think, oh, I want to make this bowl for when we, whatever, we have nachos and one would have cheese and one would have salsa and one's got guacamole in it and they go together as a unit. Might be kind of fun and then it's functional and useful. Here's some ones that students made last year. I just got a few examples. This girl made some bowls based on turtles. Um, this particular turtle, you see this? The feet broke, the foot broke off. So you gotta be careful when you have things that are sticking out, they can easily break. Hers broke off, we fired it, and then she tried to super glue it back on, but it really didn't work, so I gotta be careful. Here's one that put little animals in the bottom of their bowl and then decorated them very colorfully. Uh, here's a girl that did three different bowls and did sort of an abstract sort of face design in it. All three bowls are different, yet they're all similar. So a design, your bowls have to fit together as a unit. You can't do three completely different bowls with completely different colors and completely different looks. They have to look like a unit, like you've made them to go together. Okay? So that's it. So.